Welcome back everybody to Super Mario All-Stars playing Mario 3 We're in World 7 Today we're going to finish this world For certain Now, I need to know where to go I believe this is the pipe in question I know there is a mushroom house that I haven't seen yet Probably I'm, not, I, I'm going to ignore it Oh yeah, this level Can I use the starting here? These are the replacements of Hammer Brothers. Hammer Brothers won't show up anymore in, in Worlds. Fuck that up, didn't I? Alright, I saved a little bit of time, I guess. Alright, these are the real managers that won't hurt you when they disappear on the screen, from the screen. Yeah, these are mini levels. Well, again, like the Hammer Brother things. I know the P-Wing. I'll be using the P-Wing in World 8. In one or two levels at the most. That's probably the way to the mushroom house thing that I saw. If not, I will rewind. Oh, that's the access to the end of the world. Okay. So, nine levels. There are two more fortresses to go, in fact. So, yeah. It's a good thing, actually, that <clears throat> I decided to cut it right there. So this world is probably as long, if not a little bit longer even, than World 6 in, in some aspects. I remember that, of course. Oh, did I fuck it up? No, I think I needed to go down anyway, yeah. I need a power-up, I need to fly. Yeah, I need to... I need a flying power-up. Can I get it this way? I think I should be getting here. But I, I, I'm afraid this is a... Um, yeah, a fire flower, I thought. Yes. I was right. This is where I come from. By taking the, the door path. What if I go here? Yeah, this part again. Alright, let's go through the door this time. Basically, I'm looking for a flying power-up. Is this where you get it? Yeah, I believe so. It's a Tanuki suit, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the one. Good. I completely forgot about this area. Then I go back to this one part. Excellent. But now we can do the flying. I need to remember what exactly I need to fly. I lost speed. Probably an issue with it. Dude, arrow key. It's not letting me go forward. Okay, it got stuck forever. See, this has been happening a lot lately with my arrow keys. It's a keyboard issue. I'm not enjoying it. Oh, you fly now? Wait, why didn't you fly? Oh, maybe in the second one you, you, you were supposed to fly. Between the first and the second hit, I mean. Alright, cards game. Let's do it. Alright, got it. That was complete luck. Uh, okay, well, it went up. I <laughs> already have a 99, so... The hell, I don't know. I have no idea about that one, so... I just put whatever. I shouldn't play this anymore, seriously. Alright, that was lucky. Let's see if I can actually do something about this. Nope. Ah. Too good to be true. Level 6. Oh, is this... Yes. It's the elevator area. Basically, we were introduced to these mechanics in uh, a castle from World 4, I believe. I really enjoyed it when they introduced these mechanics in hacks. I don't remember which hack exactly, but I really liked it because it was just like this one. I mean, usually when they introduce mechanics from other worlds different from Mario World, from other Mario games, I mean different from Mario World. 
Sometimes they don't do a great job. In the sense that Yeah, they attempt to do the, the to to step or to set the mechanics, but the execution is not the best, but Throughout the years, actually, they have been perfecting many of these uh, mechanics and using them in these uh, ROM hacks. And dude, I mean, it's like it's like the actual thing. It's amazing. And this used to be one of the mechanics that used to be, have flaws, like many others, and ended up being uh, perfected. Okay, this is the end. Well, now I actually went through it very fast back in the day. It used to take much longer trying to figure out where to go, what platform to take. <sighs> I have only one hammer brother suit, right? Or oh, hammer suit. Because I want to use it. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's only one. I want to use it in this fortress. In the last fortress, but. What level is this? Alright, it's a regular level. Planes. Oh, this. Munchers, okay. Come on. I didn't want to fly. Yeah, this level is a classic too. Having a flying power is probably an advantage. Yeah, because of the tail. I actually ran out of time. It's like a longer... It doesn't matter. It's like a longer version of these um, Muncher levels that replace the Hammer Brother ones. No, let's skip that minigame. Items, yeah, I will get. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm flying very often. Not in Oh, I'm not intended to do that if I would have known, right? Well... Tanuki Soul was very useful. <laughs> Seriously, Star, why do you decide to go that way? That's probably the only one thing I didn't like about Mario 3, that the power-ups could go in either direction. In Mario 1 and in Mario World, they always went right. So you could get it. But in here we have the un unpredictability. I think it depends on what direction you're facing by the time you hit the block, but... I still find it very unpredictable in that sense. Money, 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 money! Whoa! Alright. Yeah, this power-up is making my life easier. I say that. Every time I make a comment about the power-up, I lose it right away. Nah. Iframes. You betrayed me. Alright. Uh, you know why I'm taking hits? Because I'm rushing things. I'll finish this world today, no matter what. Okay. Oh, I remember these ones. This level used to frustrate the shit out of me. Because of these guys that, remember, killed me like several times at the very end. I was so ass. Alright, let's go for an item. Probably it's a Hammer Brother. If it is a Hammer Brother, I'll be more than happy to use it right now. And there it is. So I have another one for the World 8 then. But first, you know, I'm using this. Whatever. Oh, another desert. Oh, this one, some maze. It's not difficult, but yeah, there are lots of dead ends like this, basically. You know, I've got an idea. Actually, I'm gonna end the episode before, and next time we'll do the rest of World 7 and most of World 8, so we can finish it in two more videos from now. To make exactly 24 parts for the playthrough. That's my intention. I think this is World... Uh, sorry, video 23 or 22. Now, if that's the case... I don't know. Let me check that right away. This is video 23, hmm. You know? Yeah, okay, I decided what to do. Let's finish the world today. 
And probably will, I'm gonna do World 8 in a single video too. Special treat for you all. Am I even going the right way? I think I am. I mean, every time I see blocks, that means that... We're exploring a new place, in a way. So we're going somewhere. Are we now? Yes. We actually made it. Yeah, basically the trick is to see where the blocks are blocking your way precisely, and you know that you're going on track. On, on, you know, you're going the right way. I'll take this hammer because there are potables, there are ghosts, there are lots of these plants that it's better to kill them from a distance. That hammer totally hit it. There we go. Yeah, ghosts can also be killed with hammers. Well, I ended up killing the ghost before the piranha plant. There we go. That was ass. These cannot be killed no matter what. Well, what's wrong with me today not being able to kill anybody? Thwomps also died to this. It's amazing. So yeah, this is the perfect level for the hammer suit. Nice. No, don't do that. It doesn't work like that. It hits enemies on the way down. Not the other way around. There we go. Okay. They take a while to die. There is a second part to this, by the way. Wow, that was a fast ghost. I know the ghosts in Mario 3 are actually faster, but... That was ridiculous. These guys also died to hammers. Like, right away, they don't revive anymore. Nice. So, yeah. I guess... The, the hammer suit was designed... I mean, this level was designed for the hammer suit. I mean, I don't care if I lose it now, so... But it was intended to be used here. I mean, there's absolutely no doubt about it. So there is one more level before the uh, thing, right? No. Oh yeah, there is, technically. This mini level. Well. Such tiny space. There's not so much I could have done about it. And the middle one is always the one. I'll be using all my power-ups now, in every level. I don't know why I'm trying to save items if... I'll end up using P-Wings. A lot of them. So let's uh, go for the best of the best. Yep, I told you, World 7 was Yoshi. Yeah. So... I was about to say last airship, but no. We have still World 8. Yeah, that platform over there is a waste of time. Of course, it, this is a riskier solution, but it's a better one. And the boss in this one is Ludwig. To be honest, and probably you, can, you guys can agree with me, actually. I said World 5 is one of my favorites. And probably World 7's second favorite. But I would say the World 8 is my second favorite, believe it or not. I really like the fact that it was like divided into three parts. And each part has like... Unique things to it. You know, like the hands grabbing you and... and the variety of levels. The theme itself is cool. The tanks. All those things together actually... Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Make it um, a cool world. Even if it's the last one, it's 
meant to be harder, or the hardest. Except for a couple levels, that world is not too bad. And apparently this is the longest airship as well, as you can tell. It doesn't have too many traps, it has a lot of platforming in it. We got it. Not a good start, I knew it. That was my mistake, by the way. And speaking of mistakes... Oh, you can still jump on the on the shell in the middle of the earthquake thing. Yo, I came now the princess. Well, genius. I had no idea about that. While you were riding around, she's here in my castle. If you dare to try and rescue her. So yeah, that was a letter from Bowser. And guys, this is going to be it for me today. Next time, you never know. I might end up beating the game. See ya.